Welcome back to your new Quick Hints video, this time about episode number two. And I promise you that today we will get to know the most likely biggest hint of the season. But before we get to the most likely biggest hint of the season, I will quickly tell you two more quick hints. So the first hint of today has to do with the first task that they had to do in episode number two. As you know, they had to play those little games, solve those little riddles, and one of that had to do with marbles. So they had red and green marbles in like a container or let's say bigger glass. And with the help of chopsticks, they had to pick out the green marbles and put them in smaller glass. They could earn 25 euro per green marble So actually quite a lot of money if you picked out several one of them, but somehow they didn't manage to earn a lot of money with that task. And there's a theory about why. So if we have a look at the game that came after the chopstick game, then we see the cake. And if we have a closer look on the cake, then we see that there are also little green eatable marbles. And now the theory in the Wies de Mole fan scene is that the mole picked those green eatable marbles and put them into the bigger glass so that the candidates would pick the wrong green marbles with the chopsticks and of course the eatable marbles wouldn't earn them any money at all. Now the question is who could have done that and we only have like one suspicious picture of Letizia showing us that she grabs into the cake. So she could have picked up some of those green eatable marbles, but she could also just have grabbed into the cake to eat some of it. The second quick hint has to do with the dices in task number one. And if you've watched my Is Healer the Mole video, then you've already heard a bit about it. But here comes the theory. So we have 22 dices there and all of them show like a number in the beginning of the task. And if we count together those numbers, then we end up with 92. And the year 1992 was the birth year of Zahil as well as of Hila. And if you want to know why I think this hint actually leads us more to Hila than it leads us to Zahil, then definitely check out my Is Hila the Moa video. I will put the link of that into the info box. And now to hint number three, and it is mind-blowing. It would really not surprise me if this is the biggest hint of the season. So just as a little background information, in the last seasons there have been hints hidden in the intro of the episodes. And this is why the fan community had a closer look on this year's intro as well. And if you watch it with low speed, then suddenly you see the mole. Okay, I have to admit, it is the masked mole, not the, well, unmasked one. But still, it is the mole. And how did they do that? They took pictures of tasks, upcoming tasks, and kind of photoshopped the masked mole into those pictures. And now the fan community speculates if we have to have a closer look on those tasks. Because some seasons ago they did something similar, and then you had to take the names of those tasks, take the first letter of the names, and build up a sentence that led to the mole. And now the idea is that maybe it works the same this year. So we've only seen one task so far, which was the second one of this episode. So it was the one with the balloons called Prick Aktsi. And if we take the first letter of that one, it would be a P. It does not tell us that much right now. And also some other fans speculate if we have to take the second letter this time because the game was the second game in this episode, so it would be an R. So of course we can't really get anything out of one single letter right now, if that even is the right way to figure out who the mole is, but still it is mind-blowing that they really photoshop it into the intro and that you can only see it if you have a closer and especially slower with lower speed look onto that intro. 
So let me know if you've seen those molds before and what you think about that action. I really think it's kind of mind-blowing. And let me know if you suspect Hila or Zahir because of the year and definitely check out my Is Hila the Mole video in which I tell you 11 hints about why I think Hila is the mole. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any hints and theory videos. If you like, you can still join our Facebook group to discuss a little with us or follow me on Instagram. All of that information is down in the info box, all the links and stuff you need to know. And until then, I wish you a very nice end of the week and we'll see each other in the next Hints and Theories video. Bye!